Hi everyone, so welcome to our reading. This reading is called A Message from the Angels. And you see four flowers, four piles in front of you with four different flowers. So make your choice everyone and then we're gonna see each other at the piles. We're starting over here, pile one, two, three and four. And um, yeah, I also want to say uh, thank you everyone who donated to my channel. Thank you everyone who books a personal reading with me. I'm very grateful to have you guys. And um, yeah, please check out everything. My contact details are in the description box below. So yeah, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. See you at the piles. Bye guys. So guys, we're starting with our pile one. This is the orange rose, look how beautiful. So let's see your angel messages. <clears throat> so first I wanna put down the cards and then we're gonna read it. Okay, it says the miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Very beautiful card, right? We also have the in crescent moon, the six of keys. <clears throat> I think I had a similar message. A similar message. We have um, oppression number 16. Wow. <clears throat> Look at this. That's the tower, you know, Dido and Aeneas. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the story. I think I know a little bit of that myth of that story. And we have the six of swords. Yeah, moving on from this, guys. This is all about moving on, turning pain into power, you know? That's what I'm feeling here with this message. Um, turning your pain into creation with the six of keys, you know? <clears throat> it's all about balance in life. That's what I'm feeling. Let's put those two cards here. And we also have to quote, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive. See, again, we have the card forgiveness twice. And the power I need when I'm lost. Words, compassion and power. And love, yes. Yeah, no, you can't see the words, but that's okay. I think you heard me, what I was saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, the message of comes from Archangel Jermil. And it's all about forgiveness. You have experienced a tower moment coming into your life, you know, um, something that you really thought, you know, you haven't expected this happening. If you look at the card, um, I want to read the story of Dido and Aeneas. I have to get the book, um, but I think it's, um, she turned on the light for her guy to see, you know, and her one was already on the sea. But somehow you see here the waves, it's like a turbulent. It's like that person cannot come to you, you know, and um, she turned on the light. But um, yeah, for me, this is like the story you were turning on your light, you were ready to laugh and some ship came, but this ship, you know, um, 
was disoriented. This person was not ready yet to move into a stable commitment, I feel. You know, they, they are walking on turbulent water. Their ship is, is um, going on turbulent water and you were turning on your light in order for the person to come forward. And, you know, this relationship went down because... Yeah, because this person wasn't ready, you know? There was an oppression of something. Something was oppressed here. And that's when it never works, you know? Either you couldn't really express yourself or that person couldn't really express yourself. And that's why the ship had to go down, you know? The, the sea was too turbulent in order to see that fire, you know? That person couldn't see that fire. Like they were everywhere and um, you're moving on now, you know, from this, you tried to save them. I also feel here like here she's getting into the ship and going out to the sea in order to save that person. So maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe you try to help another person, try to save a person, um, but instead it was not working because that person was just oppressing oppress the other one was just oppressing that it's not their nature yet to come and um to accept your healing and you being there for them you know they couldn't just make sense of it um they were not ready yet and i feel that's why this whole thing had to come down it's because that other person was not ready and um for you it's important to put that pain into power you know, move on from this and create art out of it, you know, turn your pain into creation, turn your pain into um, something that helps you express your feelings, you know, this is what I see here. It says, thank you for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. I also see here a person, you know, that angel is very cloaked off. It's almost like supporting you you know you have your your passion here and i think that's you know you let your passion high you were ready you were ready for commitment you you know what you wanted but that person won that the ship was the wrong ship you know and that's why it had to go down the whole thing and archangel Jeremiah is saying just forgive the situation it was no one's fault you know it was just that you two were oppressing something and there was you know, one of you worked harder on that whole connection. One of you was constantly working on that picture of a beautiful connection, but actually it wasn't. It was oppressed, you know. Um, there was nothing beautiful. It was like a mask, you know. The Six of Keys is almost like a mask. This, um, this person was maybe very, very beautiful and it masked. It masked what they oppressed, what they... Um, yeah what they had inside of them they, they were not ready and you know one by one in this connection you were seeing the true person you were seeing that it was just a sculpture they made up you know and now it's time for you to forgive the situation and to move on you know and i want to read the quote again my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power when I'm lost. You know, I feel in this connection, everyone, both of you were kind of lost because I see here both of you were in ships and you had no idea where you're going. And uh, both of you are, were working on some kind of image. You know, this is an image. Both of you were working on an image. It was not real true love. And that's why it had to go down. Okay. Um, let's get an advice. For you from Archangel Jeremiah. I want to do it with my Lenormand. Yeah, see the timing wasn't right. We have the divine timing. Um, the timing was not right for the two of you that's why this connection wasn't working out can i see another card 
and we have peace you know this is the buddha the buddha i um yeah the buddha i like in my mind you know when i see this is find peace in that find peace in knowing that it was not the right timing it was not your one um it was a task you had to learn you know and um you are wiser now and you need this wisdom to forgive the whole situation okay pile one pile orange rose that's all what i'm having bye guys bye, two. this is your reading you chose this flower i have no idea what this flower is <laughs> I always use this flower, but I don't have no idea what it is. Whoever knows the name of this flower, please tell me so I can say it. Okay, so what message we have? We have shine your light. <clears throat> Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. So let's see what your message is. We have diversity, the five of scrolls, you know. Wow, I see knowledge. <clears throat> then we have Tristan and Isolde. Number seven, we have desire. That's beautiful. Look at this beautiful card. Yeah, it's like the the desire and the, the learning process, you know, the diversity, seeing all the different um different things that you learned in life. You know, there are so many things that you have learned in life that you need to share with the world, you know. And I feel here um that this love is what keeps you moving you know the desire for this love um is keeping you moving yeah and we have the six of stave you know getting on the horse and sharing your wisdom shining the light this is also the card of success wow and then energy flows where my intention goes this is so beautiful I put this here so you guys can see it. It even has the same color as this this uh, flower. Wow. So if I see this Archangel Ariel, you know, I have met Ariel in my dreams um, once. Um, Ariel is someone, <laughs> someone. Ariel is an angel, very funny one. You know, I can tell you that. I met Archangel Ariel and he was looking like this. <laughs> this is so funny because I saw him. I was standing, you know, and... Um, Ariel is one kind of the angel that um, helps twin flames, you know. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me to shine my light with the world, to share my light. So when I see this here with Tristan and Isolde, I for sure see twin flame, you know. And um, the diversity of it, you know, the different twin flames. They're not, you know, all the, like every journey is different. And um, I have twin flames on my channel. I know that. And um, many of you think they are twin flames, but actually they're not, you know. But there are people like of you or army that are twin flames that have not even a clue of it, you know. But you will know this when you get in your soul task and everything. And um, yeah, I see here. The success, you know, sharing your light with the world, um, moving on. We have twice a card, card of movement. We have the seven, which is the chariot um, in tarot. And the card here of six of staff, that's also a card of movement, of leadership, you know. So what I see here, it's um, also time for you to step into your leadership and let this connection, there is one connection in your life, whatever this connection may be, um, that keeps you pushing forward, that keeps you pushing and learning, you know, this is you learning all the different things from the universe, you know, you're reading all the books, maybe you're trying to find out more about the twin flame journey and you're getting wiser and it's time for you to shine your light and share that wisdom with the world, especially the wisdom about love, you know, because I think you have experienced a lot of diversity, a lot of heartbreak. 
because the five of squads is not a nice card in tarot you know it's a card of experiencing a lot of heartbreak in diverse um manners you know like heartbreaks is not only with a relationship it's like heartbreak you experience with parents with children with friends with um classmates with everything you know and you need to share this wisdom with the world you know that's very important universe or archangel uriel is saying or ariel however you want to call him and this is the card of leadership for me you know people see you people follow you people follow your advice and i know i have a lot of you on my channel you know i have a lot of you on my channel and this connection Tristan and Isoldi I want to read this what this connection is all about because I don't remember all the different myths in you know mythology so let's get the book and then I'm going coming back so guys I want to read you the quote from let's put this here <clears throat> This is the number seven desire. <clears throat> it says, without family of his own, Tristan pledged his loyalty to King Mark of Cornwall, who loved and cared for Tristan as his own son. Through irreversible twists of fate and despite devotion to Mark, Tristan fell helplessly in love with Mark's bride, Isolde, and she with him. So basically, that's the desire, you know, you cannot withstand. And I feel here in this case is the desire to your one, you know, that brings you on this path. This desire to your one brings you moving forward, you know, you see this movement forward. And this is very important in your case, okay? That's what Archangel Uriel wants to tell you okay see you guys hi pal sunflowers so let's see what the universe what the angels want to tell you we have a crazy lightning today <laughs> we have oh peaceful warrior archangel ariel thank you ariel for helping me stand my ground with peace wow a lot of sunshine i see here also with the sunflower I mean hello you know <clears throat> we have the four forces spring and autumn so this is like the seasons you know we have the four of coins <clears throat> and the princess of arrows beautiful we have psyche that's like cutting out what is not serving you you know it's like <clears throat> so <clears throat> and here is when i'm in alignment with love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted isn't it crazy how this always aligns so basically your angel wants to tell you that um the angel ariel is right now with you it's about um finding peace and being in alignment with the universal energy because i feel here with the princess of arrows um you know it's like there are a lot of things you think about, especially with your one, because we see here this person like you sitting there and contemplating and he here we see like a ghostly figure, you know, like someone who's not there. So <clears throat> basically your one, the one coin you're holding, you're waiting on, you know, because this is the card, it looks like she's waiting on her one. Actually, your one is not with you, but you always must think that their higher selves is all around you, you know. <clears throat> So what it's saying here throughout the seasons, you know, throughout, um, you know, seasons coming and going and you're waiting probably for a long time for your one. And it's all about finding peace in, in that, 
you know um it's all about not because the princess of arrow here it's like she wants the transformation she wants everything happening very fast you know um you you're trying to find the clue in everything the princess of arrows is like trying to make sense of it all trying to make sense of your waiting trying to make sense of the whole situation and this has been going on for a long time because you're waiting on your person since like forever you know for you it feels like forever it's been maybe a year you know we see spring and autumn here <clears throat> or maybe since spring autumn is like right now so maybe um you awakened to your soul journey in spring and you're still waiting on your one and you're asking yourself you know why is this happening to me why um can't i, f I find peace because you're not finding peace you know you're overthinking everything i see that here with the princess of arrows you're overthinking you're thinking why is not my person not with me why are they not coming why am i alone and you know nothing is really happening here and archangel ariel is bringing you peace it's bringing you peace in the moment you know being aligned in alignment with love and love is patient guys you know this is a big big surrender to patience what this pile tells me here so many of you chose the sunflower probably because you're not with your one um and you must find happiness in being like that you know if you want to wait for your one and i always say on my channel waiting doesn't mean like this sitting around and doing nothing it's working on yourself it's finding peace in the situation you know it's standing your ground and working on your own stuff working on your own ends working on your own um issues you know and being okay with waiting otherwise it's time for you to move on you know i'm always saying if you are not comfortable with finding peace in waiting and finding your own way and um you know it's time to move on from that person then because then this is not the one for you you know okay guys so that's all what i'm having for my pile four bye guys hi pile red flower red rose this is your reading so what do the angels want to tell you <clears throat> wow i love this picture now the 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 light is a little bit better. So we have honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So we see the moon here in the background. And with that beautiful color in that moon, I see um, divine feminine, you know, very subtle emotions, very deep emotions, very deep emotions coming up. And we have the seven of key, the ascent yeah it's like climbing a mountain climbing a mountain climbing out of the how you say climbing the stairs up mastering your emotions honor your feelings yeah also see how much you've how far you've come you know you're still climbing up that mountain it's not easy for you and we have a lot of seven here it's the seven of cups you know being confused being confused about everything you see how this ghost is kissing her or whatever it is like an angel or a ghost but that person is not there you know again we have it here isn't it funny how it's always in the cards <gasps> it's like the universe is so crazy oh and the nine of cups yeah you're completely in your feelings guys you're completely swept away in your feelings and mm, it's very hard for you because this person is all what you're wishing for you know this is your one it's like all it's like from all the cups you know from all the cups it's the one you chose it's the one you want but that one is not with you and that's why you know it's a journey this is a journey this is a soul journey and you're an ascent you know the seven of keys all about being patient it's all about mastering the mountains it's all about climbing to the top and finally also seeing the truth, you know, because if we have a mountain in front of us or if we are at the bottom of a mountain before hiking, we don't know the view, you know, we just hike up there at the like at the top and then you have this beautiful overview. So what I see here, what the universe wants to tell you is by mastering your deep emotions, by going deep 
by really going deep inside yourself, by really finding out why you love this person. Why is it the one? Um, why is he not in your life? Do you want to wait or do you want to move on? By all these questions and all these mastering your emotions, because this is all your emotions. Your emotions are very wild right now, you know, because you miss that person. And because you're confused, you're confused why. And it's all about climbing that mountain to a certain point until you get that overview. And with that overview, then you will get clearance, you know. So once you honor your feelings and you know it's a hard climb and you are okay with that. Once you do that and you climb and climb and climb and once you're up there at the top, then you will have the overview. Yeah, but it's only possible if you master your emotions, especially if you can control your emotions, you know, control it to a certain point. Don't don't like let them run free all the time. That means like don't cry every day because of that person, because you need to to do your task to walk on this mountain. Oh, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Yeah, I feel you see that person in your dreams. You know, this is the one of your dreams. I mean, the dreams and the dream card, the nine of cups, that's identically, you know, a stream of love. It's like all this love is pouring out for this person. Look how the colors are similar, you know, it's like you've done so much as to express your love for this person. You cannot do any more to express this love from this person, but still you're confused because you're not seeing anyone on your side. You know, this person is not with you. But, you know, it's about you climbing up your own mountain. And when you're at the top, when you master your emotions, when you look deep inside your own self, your own consciousness, your own dreams, what do they tell me? What do I want in life? If you master that, you will see why this is all, you know, then you are the ascent. Beautiful, right? So that's all what I'm having, guys, for you. I hope you liked this reading. This was a short reading, but it was actually really cool, right? So I'm saying bye guys. Love you.